Hey guys and gals, how you doing? Today I'll be talking about the movie American Guinea Pig, The Son of Solomon. Not to be confused with the original Japanese series Guinea Pig. This is, I guess these film makers are a fan of the Japanese version, so they decided to start their own series. Call it American Guinea, Guinea, Guinea Pig, Pig. And there's a few films in the series from this seg of this um, franchise. But I think to me, The Son of Solomon is the best one in my opinion. Um, I did saw this movie f like about a few years back, and um, I didn't have a chance to review it though, but now I will. <laughs> um, the movie is a is a demonic possession movie about these different priests sent by the church church to try to exercise the, this demonic possessed woman, and she talks about the story of Solomon and how her possession is like very creepy, very scary and shit. And I'm gonna be honest, I, I really like the possession in this movie, the, the demonic style in this movie was so well done, man. And this is a low budget movie though, and they just did it like really cheaply done though. The, but the special effects is high quality though, because there's a lot of blood, a lot of disgusting scenes in this movie that be like, ah, oh, damn, you know. So I mean, special effects like that is not really cheap. So I, I guess they went, they saved a lot, a lot of money, you know, to go out with this one. But um. But I like the different priests, they use their own methods trying to exercise this woman and trying to get rid of the demon inside of her. So there's a little twist to the story of why the church is sending all these different priests after this, trying to free this woman from her demonic possession. There's a reason why. And um, all in all, I, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was actually good, to be honest with you. So I highly recommend checking this one out. Peace out and see you later, guys and gals.